Welcome to the Informatica video channel. My name is David Anantarajan. On this video, we will learn how to create a very simple duplicate prevention IDC control. We will learn how to set up a simple duplicate prevention control, how to use this control to view records that are in the MDM hub. We will not be covering the integration of the duplicate prevention control into a third party application. Basic overview. Let us assume you have a third party application on which you create new records. Let us also assume data from this third party application is integrated into MDM Hub. By using IDC controls, you can expose the data in MDM Hub to users creating the new records in the third party application. By embedding the controls in the standard new contact creation of the third party application, master data and the features of the MDM Hub can be made more easily available to business users within an enterprise. This control is designed to be application agnostic. However, there must be a dedicated connector for the specific application that embeds the control. Let's do a small demo. The requisite for this demo is that I have a working IDD application. This demo, I will use this IDD application I have an external source system called, say, SFA. The data in this external source system is already integrated into MDM Hub. This is the IDD application that I have, which is created on party. And it has a subject area called person. It's a simple one, nothing uh, fancy about it. I'm um, using this package, and these are the columns that I'm going to be displayed. To create a control, you click on the controls button, add a control, name it whatever you want, and then you choose the control type. So these are the other control types that are available. Uh, for this purpose, we are only using the duplicate prevention control. And what, after this, you will have to upload a zip file. This zip file will have all the control data that you're going to be using. Let us look at the control file that I'm going to be using. This is, again, a very simple implementation of the control file. The system name here is the, the external source system. SFA is the one that I'm, I'm going to be using. Import, uh, we will cover this a bit late. Uh, this is my ORS, MDM sample, and this is my subject area name. Party is my base object, and IDD is the match rule set that I'll be using. The organization name here is the match column that I will be using. I have zipped, uh, zipped and uploaded the simple duration file that we saw, control file that we saw. Upload it, say OK. Save it. Once it is saved, click on this one. This is the one the duplicate prevention control that we created. Show URL. The drop down menu will give you the subject areas that you have. In my case, it's a person. Copy this. I have copied the URL displayed by the show URL tab. We will have to replace the match data placeholder, the highlighted text over here, with the search column name and the string. By search column, I mean the match column name and the string that you're going to be searching on. In this case, I'm going to be searching on ABC. You can add additional match column names. Same way, you have to put a comma there, then MC for match column, dot your match column name and colon the search string. You can see here I have a fuzzy match key defined and on organization name. So that is the reason I'm using organization name as my match column. Next step is to copy this URL and uh, put it on the browser here. As you can see, it found two matches. There are two records here. You can see here for the first record, the open button is grayed out. This means 
this record exists in the hub but is not but is from a different source system in our example this is not from sfa source system you can use the import button to create this person or this record in the repository of the external source system, allowing you to leverage the cleansed and corrected data from the MDM hub. Let's look at the second record. The second record has the import button grayed out, which means the rec this record exists in the hub and has an XREF from the external system. Basically, it means it already exists in the external source system. At this point, users can use the open button to view the record within the external source systems repository, thus preventing the creation of duplicate data in the external source system. To summarize, the goal of the duplicate prevention control is to bring potential match capabilities currently available within the IDB to business users who create master data in external source systems with an enterprise application such as salesforce.com, SAP, or Oracle ERP. When a user creates a new record in the external source system, the component displays the potential matches and provides the user with the following options. Navigate to the match record if it exists in the source system, ability to create a new record in the source system if it already exists in the hub but does not have an extract from the calling application. This allows the business users to leverage the cleansed and corrected data that may already exist in the MDM server and to prevent the creation of duplicate data in the external source. To integrate IDC into an external source system, embed this URL into the contact creation component of the external source system. Thank you.